Fighter standing in the blue corner. He wears black and gold. He officially weighs in at 130 pounds. Presentando ustedes en la esquina roja. Pantaloncillo color negro con oro. Con un peso de 130 libras. He stands with a professional record of three victories, no defeats, and one victory coming by the fast way of knockout. Presenta un record de tres victorias, cero derrotas, y una victoria por la vía del cloroformo de la colonia Murúa, Tijuana, Baja California. Abraham, el Dandy Rosa. And his opponent across the ring is standing in the blue corner. We're in black with white in blue. He officially weighs in 132 pounds. Y su rival en la esquina azul con pantaloncillo en color negro con blanco y azul. Con un peso de 132 libras. He stands with a record of two victories, no defeats, and two of those victories coming by the fast way of knockout. Presenta un record. Dos victorias, cero derrotas. Y sus dos victorias por la vía del knockout. Hailing out of Stockton, California, USA. Way Nasty Jones the third. And here is with the final instructions. Con las indicaciones finales, su referee, Ángel Méndez. Four rounds, cuatro saltos. Gentlemen, you were given the instructions at the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Se le dieron las instrucciones en el camerino. Proteja a todo momento. Siga las instrucciones. Good luck to you both. Buena suerte. Touch him back. Here we go. The second match of the night about to start. Power punching Wade Jones the third, about to touch gloves and uh, touch his opponent's face. In a few short moments, his opponent is Abraham Dandy Rosas from right here in Tijuana, Baja California, Mexico. So they're awaiting the instructions to get this started from the referee. Here we go, round number one. Wade Jones the third in the blue trunks with white trim going up against Rosas in the black trunks with gold trim. Marcos Vegas on the call here with Chris Martin and Stockton Zone Giovanni Gonzalez, who's a training partner of Wade Jones the third. Giovanni, what are you looking for for uh, Wade in, in this fight? What, what do you want to see from him? I, I want him to use that jab. He's, he's, he's using that jab very smartly right now. Be patient. Um, like I said, they're both undefeated, so they, they both never tasted uh, defeat. So just be patient uh, and, and take your time. And if, once you see the opening, take, take it. But right now, his opponent is very aware. He knows what he's doing. Um, I mean, as of now, the, the round is even and it just started, but I can see both of them are, are very well, very well trained. That jab of Jones uh, popping Rosas in the head. He's been scoring so far in, in this early portion of the first half of round number one. He's going to want to keep it active if he's going to want to take these rounds from Rosas. Rosas looks like he's looking to counter him with something. There right, you go, just with did the right, right hand. Right hand. He's, yeah, he's looking like he wants to counter him with a right hand. Wade has to be patient. He just throw that jab. He, he doesn't have to, need to get in the firefight just yet. That's Big what Rosas wants. miss from Rosas just now. Very evenly matched. Not not much feeling out on Rosas' part. He, he's throwing with, uh, with conviction. With he yeah, yeah. Is Marcos. Yeah, but the thing is, can he can he maintain that for the whole for the whole fight, or is that just going to be for the first round? So Wade's coming forward. That straight connects just now. He jabbed to the gut of Rosas, who tries to counter. Digs to the body. Jones responds, but in the process, clinches. Jones very active with that jab. You would say that's his strongest attribute as a fighter, Giovanni? Yeah, he has a very, very uh, solid jab. Once he's comfortable, he will come out with the hook or a straight right hand, and, and he has power behind that right hand. He has his, He's not sitting on his punches just yet. He just, he's trying He's trying to, to get him in a trap, but Rosa is very crafty. He's, 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 he's not much technique, but he's throwing power punches. There's power behind every single punch he's throwing. Not much of a jab, but he's throwing power punches. 
There you go, overhand, but he missed it, but that's what uh, Jones has to be careful with. As Jones just lands a power jab just now as we come now to the final 15 seconds of this round number one. Good opening round for both fighters. Very evenly matched at this point. As Jones has been very active with that jab. Yeah, yes. very active, Marcos. Um, I think come to the end of round number one, Chris, what'd you think? I think he did the better work um, in that round. Uh, like the bulk of the work was done by Jones. Um, Rosas landed two shots, you know, two good shots, but you can't base yourself off that. You can't go off of that. You really, uh, you really have to go with with the with the work of Jones. What do yeah. you think, Giovanni? Yeah, I, I, I will agree with you. Um, the thing with this is that Jones has to be patient, keep that jab going, not get into a firefight. There's no reason to get into a firefight. He can outbox him with that jab and then. Uh, wait for the opening and throw the overhand right or, or left hook. Uh, Rosas, uh, he's just trying to get into a firefight and catch him with something. And and I and I think uh, Wade uh, is the most more technical fighter. So we take a look at some of the action that happened that first round. Good hook there from Jones, who is working on the inside, digging into the body. Needs to be careful by that counter hook, though, Ed, yeah, from Rosas. Yeah, absolutely, yes. He has to be very careful with the counters. That's what Rosas is looking for. He's looking to counter him. Yeah, I see Rosas throwing a lot of heat with um, not too much backing it up as far as, like, technique. Just swinging it, throwing it. Oh, looked like a slip. He was off bounds as both fighters now exchange. Well, Firefight oh, down, down goes Rosas! Down. What there a knockdown! Caught him with a, with a hook. He looks like he's gonna get up. Jones has to be careful. Let's see if Jones can put away Rosas. Rosas corners yelling at him to move. Both fighters clinch up. That's see the right move by Rosas is yeah. to hold on. Yeah. Right now, he's still, he's still dazed. Very smart move by the young Rosas to hold on here. He got clipped clean by Jones, who's now working on the inside. Let's see if he can get some space. Well, Marcos, prior to that, Rosas had landed a good shot. I think he thought he hurt Jones. Rosas Jones is still just, hurt. He just threw constantly to the win as Rosa continues now. Answering back, both fighters exchanging. Rosa's Jones loading hurt. up on these punches. And once again, Rosa smart enough to hold on. Jones getting warned by the referee for pushing Rosas. <laughs> Jones is just throwing all power on these punches, trying to get his opponent out of there. So he continues now, three punch combination, followed by a straight hand. Rosa needs to be calm under fire here. Doesn't want to get caught again. So Jab just hits him in the face. Good hook landed by Rosas in that exchange. Now Rosas looks to be a, a little bit more composed now. Doesn't seem to be as much in trouble as he was earlier. Seems to have his legs about him now. He does, Marcos, but I think Jones is still doing the, the much better work and, and getting the better out of every exchange here including that jab right there. As life now is starting to come back in Rosas. Jones digging to the body, one, two, another fouled up. Continues to pressure and come forward, evading those punches of Rosas. All Jones so far in this round number two. Rosas is tough, Wade has Caught him with a lot of hard punches this round. He's still, he's still there, fighting back, trying to survive so far. Another big hand landed by Jones. And follows it up with combinations as he has Rosas up against the ropes. What a knockdown in that round, guys. Oh my goodness. Absolutely, man. That was a wonderful punch by Jones. Solid left hook. Giovanni, did you like what you saw in that round? Absolutely. That was that was good. 
Rosas wanted him to get wanted Wade to get into a firefight. I don't think he was thinking about the power. Yeah, Just, he has the power. Wade Wade is a power puncher. Rose Rosas did not respect his power. He did not respect his power, and he paid he paid dearly for it right now. I I want to remind you guys that that Rosas landed a good shot on Jones prior. So there, oh, yeah, there, there it is. Go. There it you is. You see it on the replay. And they're just like, that's, you know what? Screw it. Let's go. And he goes after him, a little careless, and just Bonk. capitalized oh, him right there. Two by piece. Jones. Down goes Rosas, man. And that was just flush. It seemed like Jones was like, all right, you got me good. Let's let's throw down. Like yeah. let's do it. Yeah, absolutely. He he dug in there, dug his feet into the ground, and just threw that hook hard. So we now begin round number three. Jones scoring a knockdown in the last round against Rosas. Hey, looks, just, look, looks like he has his legs yeah. about him and his wits about him. He's moving well now, but gets hit with the jab just now. And now they're both exchanging again. Rosas is backing up a little bit more. He respects his power now. He's fighting a different fight right now yeah, so far. Yeah, definitely a different fight. You're right, Giovanni. Uh, he's packing up now. He's trying to box. He felt that power from Jones. He got his legs back. He's, he's back, but he's being very, very cautious. He got cautious with the, of the power of Jones. He's a yeah. big puncher. It's 2-0 oh with two knockouts. Trying to get the third now. So he digs at the body there. Giovanni in sparring with Jones. How hard are those punches? You know, I always tell everybody, it's not necessarily how, how hard somebody hits. It's the punch that you don't see. That's the one that hurts, and, and Jones has really good angles. Uh, right now, he's just he's digging the body. He, he's he's trying to knock him out. He smells blood, but Jones he, he's 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 a big 130 pounder. He he has a really good hit. It's another punch is landed by Jones, followed up by a hook. The more active fighter, Rosa. He's getting hit cleanly by these yeah. punches. He's going to need to fire something back, Chris. Yeah, it, yeah he is getting hit very clean. Um, maybe the corner help him out here because, you know, those are really solid shots landed by Jones. Uppercuts, hooks. Yeah. Every punch he's throwing, he's landing at will. Yeah, and he's a young kid. He's going to take this. He seems like he's there with him, but that shouldn't be. You know, his corner should be the ones to say, you know what, son, Let, let's... Let's live to fight another day. Like those shots right there. That one solid one-two by Jones. No, maybe Rose is thinking that nice he can flush. take the punches and he's just waiting for a perfect counter. He did stun Wade Jones in that round number two. You're, you're right, Marcos, but that's when he was a little bit more fresh than he is now. I mean, those shots, continuous shots getting landed on you, they wear on you. 30 seconds now left in this round number three. Wade Jones in control. Looking, landing punches at will. Looking very fresh. You got a Rosas who's now in the defensive, uh, covering up a lot, but also getting clipped as he just got clipped by a hook just now. Followed up by a one, two. Nice body shot. His corner yelling at him, close strong. As Wade digs to the body, Rosas finally answering back. Lands a hook there. Good action between both these fighters. Round number three now in the books. It's been all Jones, though, so far. It has been all Jones, but, I mean, Rosa's right there with him, man. And you just said, closed out the third round. That's when you know it's a good fight. I still thought we were on the second round. Yeah. yeah Went Ro by very quick. Rosa's came to win. He, he, didn't, come to, he didn't come to lose. He's, he's, he's doing his best. It's his, his corner right now is trying to get him back into the fight. Um, it's the last round. So he has to come. He has to go in there and, and, and go for the win. He, he's losing his scorecards. Let me ask you guys this. A lot of people watching us on the stream right now are saying the fight should be stopped. That Rosas is taking too much punishment. What do you guys think? I'd agree with that <laughs> to a certain degree. Uh, but being a, being a fighter myself, you want to fight, man. You want to fight. That's what you do. You want to fight. Yeah. Um, but, but yeah, the corner needs to save him from himself. Yeah, I, I think uh, 
he's a young fighter. They, they, they should stop it, but he does have a puncher's chance. Every fighter has a puncher's chance. And he did stun Jones in that first round as they go right at it right now, yeah. round number four. Yeah, Rosas knows he has to go for the knockout. Yeah. Both fighters exchanging. Rosas' knee almost Rosa's touched the hurt. ground I as both are going at it. Marcos, I believe it did touch the ground, but Jones right now has too much. He's yeah. too good right now. He's, he's fresh. He's, he's, he's game, man. Rosas has a lot of heart in there. Absolutely. He's showing it. Well, the cliche that the hardest thing to go is your O, you know? Yeah. And oh, yeah. Rosa's undefeated, man. He's fighting like it, you know? And he's a hometown fighter. Jones continues to do work to the body. He follows it up up top. Just chopping down the body of Rosas, whose punch output has not been good. Gets clipped by a hook just now. I don't like the way his body responded to that hook. Well, what we've been saying, Marco, is that he needs, I mean, his corner needs to step in, man, because this kid is tough. Too tough for his own good right now. You may not be able to see it on the telecast, but right here standing ringside, you hear the thuds. You see how hard Jones is hitting. Yeah. Maybe, maybe fight another day. Two oh, punch combination yeah. followed up by another one and a two piece by Jones. He's on fire right now. Yeah, he's Just about every punch landing flush. Yeah, he's he's taking way too much punishment now. Referee's looking very, very closely. Jones is taking his time. He wants to counter him, but Rose is not throwing anything. It's been oh. on him as he lands another straight and follows oh, wow. it up. That one yeah. staggered Rosas a bit. Two solid shots. He could be close to a TKO stoppage here. A lot of punches, power punches being landed flush by Jones. Every punch he's throwing, he's landing it. Pretty much, you know, Rosa's making it difficult on the ref and pretty much for everyone watching just because he keeps throwing back, you know? Yeah. Um, he keeps responding. Yeah, Rosa's is going to want to go out on the shield. It's another hook, though. Oh. Stumbles Rosas. This young man's taking a lot of punishment. Looks like he's going to survive it. Yeah, it looks like it. As we come now to, to the final 10 seconds of this fourth round, Jones in control, it's been all him, landing power punches, knocking down Rosas in round number two. As the fight now ends, but it was a domination by Wade Jones yeah. the third. Yeah, he, he dominated every single round on that, fight, on that fight. It was a domination, but it was a good effort uh, by Rosas. You know, it wasn't a, it wasn't a snooze fest, man. Uh, Rosas was in it competitive but Wade Jones is just way too much for him today yeah well you've trained with him Giovanni what'd you make of uh, how he fought here tonight he fought he fought just like he he spars he fights very he fights uh, he uh, he trains very hard um, I don't know if I said it before this kid used to run six seven miles to the gym and I used to take him home every day and he, he used to run there and then train, and then I would take him home. Like, he's determined, he's hungry, he, he knows what he wants. If you take a look back at some of the action, Chris, take us through it. Not much going on here, Marcos, but... Well, oh, I thought we had him. I thought we had it as well, <laughs> yeah, too. Guess not. But overall, uh, Chris, Jones is playing that he has a lot of power. Yeah, man, like um, Giovanni said earlier, you know, it's the shots that you don't see. And the shot that he dropped uh, Rosas with tonight yeah. is a shot that he didn't see, you know. Um, I'm sure he does hit hard. You know, we can hear him here. We can hear the thud. But it's those fast shots that you don't see that put you down. Yeah. Wade caught him multiple times with that same hook. But Rosas did not go down because he saw that shot. It was, the one, it was a shot that he did not see Ladies on that shot. Ladies and gentlemen, counter. after four rounds of boxing, we now go to the judges' scorecards. Damas y caballeros, después de cuatro rounds de combate, nos vamos con las tarjetas de los jueces. 
all three judges, Jesus Hernandez, Carlos de la Rocha, and Alejandro Ruchin, they turned the same scores of 40 to 35. Los tres jueces, Jesús Hernández, Carlos de la Rocha y Alejandro Rochín entregan tarjetas idénticas 40 a 35. For your winner, by the way, of unanimous decision. Su ganador por la vía es la decisión unánime. Stockton, California represents Way the Nasty Jones III. There we see Wade Jones III getting the third victory of his career. Still undefeated. Rosa showed a, a lot of heart, but was just overwhelmed by Wade Jones in that fight, representing his hometown of Stockton very well with uh, that performance. It's going to be a, a fighter that you fans are going to want to keep your eye on. An exciting kid that packs one hell of a punch. Wade Jones the third here victorious in Tijuana.